and I'm sure Kornikova will enjoy trying to serve out the match. So come back to court number two. Kornikova now serving for the match. Court was open for her. She looks like she's just a, a little bit uh, shattered out there, young Japanese girl. got that but couldn't control the forehand the Miho Saiki of Japan really took command of that rally oh she had to come up with a good shot she almost did just overplayed it to the baseline fine angled return for victory and he should be happy to get off this court. rally by both players I think Saiki was a little unsure whether the, the previous ball had landed in she almost seemed to hesitate but it's match point now for Kornikova the number 12 seed previous one was at least two meters over the service line that one's halfway up the net and they're not even going close if they're going close you can say bad luck she should really just focus on getting this first serve in obviously now a possibility of a double I, I, I agree with you I think she should get uh, the first serve in but then uh, there might be a feeling inside of herself that if she did that she'd be really negative and that but uh, I, I don't know that that would be wrong oh dear too much points saved but she has a sense of humor with everything as you say at uh, in new york she was laughing it off but she's not laughing off the doubles now but at wimbledon last year she was surrounded by male admirers and and half of them were saying anna anna please can i have a date tonight can i have a date tonight and she just quickly said you guys can't afford me. <laughs> <laughs> top players in the world when they're leading five love and serving for the match. 
You'd think it was a foregone conclusion. Oh, that's nice. It was nice, but uh, Kurnikova made the mistake of going down the line, and she didn't go enough down the line with that backhand, nor deep enough. This one here, she had to do a much better shot than that. The cross-court forehand was just open for Saiki. Anticipation initially from Kornikova. She's often looking at her entourage. Usually her mum is part of the entourage. Yeah. yeah, well played. You never quite know when a player looks up at the entourage, whether they're looking up at the family, uh, be it mum, dad, husband, wife, whatever, uh, the coach, the manager, <laughs> the trainer. <laughs> They've got to be focusing on somebody. They can't look at everybody. Okay, well, she's still in there fighting. Miho Saiki of Japan, born in New York now living in Tokyo and surely this time Bob Kornikova will close out the match well you hope so for Kornikova's sake you don't uh, hope so of course for Saiki's sake but you, what I'd like to see this time is you know good strong serving high percentage of first serves in and positive second serves going in we don't know what we're going to get from Kornikova because she can actually give you everything in, in the one game Yes, and she was, she was actually saying in one of her press conferences earlier this week, why is everybody focusing on this serve? It's only one shot that, that I have throughout the game. Nobody focuses on it if, if we all have a bad forehand. She said it, it, it's far more attention, the fact that it's the serve. Well, except people do focus a little bit if you have an do. obvious forehand. But um, the horrible thing about, um, you can see the, the centre court uh, in, in the background there, but... Um, the horrible thing about it is that with people talking about it to her, that's getting further and further into the back of the brain and it makes it more difficult to bring it out, get, it, get rid of it. Oh, that's a good positive point. she got a, a nice positive second serve in it was unfortunately not very well directed she has about uh, three problems physical problems on her serve and all three sort of play up to each other and, and make it a horrible serve what are those physical problems then on the serve well, she's jamming herself on the loop. It's very difficult to explain, but it, she's jamming herself on the loop. She's coming around the ball because she's throwing the ball to the right. And uh, with the loop, it's, it's too far behind her instead of away from her. So they're, they're the three problems that I see. Maybe just a little bit too careful there with that uh, last shot. Wanting desperately to win the point, but didn't. 
So two break points for Saiki. I must say, I don't like the support that she's getting in that, in that way. You know, when she serves a fault, and it is a fault, and they're, they're booing uh, the umpire and the linesman, you know, call it good and all that stuff, uh, that's a little bit disruptive to the match, and it also puts more, little, more pressure on this young lady. So she can't get a second serve to the backhand. You see, they're always to the forehand or straight to the body because of those three things that I mentioned and, and also it just makes it so jolly difficult. If, if she gets hold of a good coach, and I'm not saying the one she's got isn't a good coach, but if she gets hold of a good coach and works on the right things for about a, two to four weeks, she can get the whole thing sorted out and she'll have a good serve and then she'll be one of the superstars for sure, not just one of the better known players. Well, of course, many would say why when she had the whole of December off from competition, why hasn't she done that? I can't answer that one. Maybe she tried. Maybe she's working on the wrong things. If you practice the wrong things, all you're doing is perfecting what is already wrong. Reinforcing bad habits. Yes. Oh, she let that get so low. <laughs> she nearly hit the, her nose instead of the ball, it was so low. <laughs> Good defensive lob though, nice and high. Gave herself plenty of time to get back into the court. Tension out there is uh, electric, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes, that's smart play. Matches like this that um, you now understand why people get ulcers. <laughs> well, she's doing the right thing. She's covering the cross court. Okay. Wasn't a good enough approach. So you can knew that. And just a nice, gentle little lob down the line. through the net. It's baffled me. Yeah. Well, this is interesting. Yeah. Points for um, a 5-4 deficit with Kornikova to serve. Oh. Oh. Wow. Man. <laughs> I love Where it. did that come from? I don't know, but I love it. And she does it with such ease. I mean, there's no apparent effort such a talent. Well, it's becoming very interesting indeed. A five love lead at one stage, but now five four. And the atmosphere here at court number two is electric. Just one game in it. And the corner cover serve well, has been under severe pressure. And yet another double fault. Having had that five love lead, you would have thought that her confidence was sky high and she wouldn't be thinking about this service problem. Well, she's trying now to do what you suggested a couple of games ago, and that's get the first serve in. But she's so shaky, she can't get that in. And she can't get the second one in. That's two double faults in a row. That makes 25 double faults. She's beaten her record of the first round by two double faults, which was 23. 
Now that was a better serve. She threw that ball a little bit more left and she generated nice natural power. Oh, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I mean, that's, that's so good, that forehand, it's just unreal. And she also plays it as if she hasn't got a care in the world. Yes. And yet when she's serving, she's obviously so stressed out, so tentative. Mm. The brain is an amazing instrument. Tennis players would play better if they didn't have a brain. What do you think? <laughs> well, she can't dwell on the past. That's There's a coach, the second one, just with the grey uh, T-shirt. The second on the left, Pavel Slozel from the Czech Republic. He became famous coaching Steffi Graf for about four years. And then Steffi took on Heinz Gunthardt. So a break point to make it five all. And she's done it. That's, that's very brave. Not just the point, but the whole five games. I know she's had a lot of help, Asaiki, from Kornikova with double faults. But still, to be five love down in the final set and come back and make it five all, very, very brave. Now she has to, of course, just focus on this particular game, win the game, and really put the pressure on Kornikova. Yeah, so often a player, when they've caught up, they think they've done all the hard work and then tend to relax. Mm. mentioned about the support that Kornikova has and, uh, and it's not her fault but the, the males in the in the crowd are yelling out for anything that's close they want the umpire and linesman to call it in her favor you saw the one shot that was I don't know it's very close but but it's putting both players off and it's putting too much pressure on the umpire and linesman That's a bad miss. She could have hit it anywhere, and she's trying to hit it down to the feet of Kornikova. Good drop volley, good movement there by Kornikova, and you can see she's just concentrating on getting it down to the feet. Pulled it down too much. She's broken. Well, I wonder how much that means. Look at that support. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know what it means, the, the, the fact that she's broken, but it's, it's a lot better for her than, than had she not broken, because then she has to serve to stay in the, the uh, match. This way, by having the break, if she loses her serve, it's six all. Saiki. Yes. 
very much a test of character for her and at the moment she's come through it with flying colors as you say from love five down so many players would have really thrown in the towel at that stage but she's dug deep well i'd rather not use the the terminology that you use there throw in the towel um there's pavel he's standing up trying to um, you know be noticed by the player and he's maybe just giving the eye contact to um, uh, what uh, he'd like her to do but uh, i'd rather say that at five love down the other player was able to capitalize on the situation they were unable to to find a way to come back but she found a way to come back admittedly she had a bit of help but uh, good good luck to her but now she's got to come back again hasn't she so once again kornikova serving for the match You know, it's not fair on, on this young lady for for herself or her mum, her coach or her manager to have her continue to play until this problem is solved because it's just going to wreck her whole tennis life. like to see and, and you know I'm I have nothing to do with her so you know what I say doesn't mean anything but and she probably won't even hear what I what I've said but I, I believe that after this tournament she needs to go away and she needs to really seriously work on the right fundamentals on her serve fear that she she might be mentally destroyed or are you yes yeah absolutely yeah. it can destroy the whole game and it can destroy her you know in other other ways because you know a happy tennis player is a happy person off the court as well and an unhappy confused tennis player and, it, and the same obviously could be said about all sports but if you're unhappy a nervous wreck and whatever you c you can be an unhappy off the court uh, person I really, I feel so strongly, uh, I'm so nervous and worried about what's happening to her. And even if she weren't a great talent, I'd be worried, but she's a great talent. And the game needs great talents. We, the women's game, my goodness, they've got, they've got 12 or 20 great talents. And so what is one extra? One extra is vital because it's Kornikova. And it's, it's vital to Kornikova. Not so much for the game, but to corner cover. Twenty-seven. Oh man. Oh. I think I'm developing an ulcer. long by much she's breathing deeply trying to settle herself that's smart Thank you. yeah great for him So match points for Kornikova, third in total. I remember she had two when she was serving at 5-1 in this deciding set.
Oh. Well, it wasn't a bad smash. It was powerfully struck. She just pulled it down a little bit and went into the net. Yeah, OK, it was match point. But she's got to be able to say to herself, I hit it well, but I just didn't hit it in the right spot. It wasn't a miss hit. very close to the baseline obviously it was just out she's not questioning it tentative volley well the drama goes on Broken back, six all in the decider. Well, interesting that, Bob. Kornikova, look at her posture there. Thank you, for it. Almost as if she was trying to switch off from it, just get her focus back. hard to win that point she had about four opportunities to put the ball away and Saiki anticipated every one of them right there see how early she went she went a little bit too early that time I'm wondering if she's not getting a little bit of cramp I'd be surprised if she's not there's the tension out there and she must be a nervous wreck right now at least the playing conditions today are a lot more pleasant than they have been Temperature at the moment about 22, 23. A few cl clouds in the sky. Yeah, that's quite pleasant for tennis players. They don't mind it anything up to about 30 degrees or something like that. But 22, 23 is very pleasant. Well, she's finally thrown one in. That her second double fault mm. in the match. Break point, Kornikova. Again, Saiki anticipating well, but she just couldn't control the shots. And this goes on and on. 7-6. <laughs> Back. Serving for the match once more, Kornikova. Yeah, whoever wins this match plays the winner of Andrea Glass from Germany and Taliana Panova from Russia. No, overplayed it. And if you look at the ranking, you'll see that... Um, there's not a big difference uh, either of those two ladies with uh, Saiki's ranking. So uh, th they're comparable, whoever comes through to uh, uh, whatever Kunikova's playing now, assuming, of course, she comes through this match.
Well, if you'd looked at the draw at the start of the tournament, you would have said, really, that Kornikova had three relatively easy rounds, but she made heavy work of her first against Jill Krabass. In fact, was a qualifier. And he went winning that 7-6, seven, 7-5. Seven, and she's in a real battle now in this second round. She read where the smash was going, but uh, was straight at the body, and she couldn't do anything about it. That's good scrambling there. A little bit short, and you see that was, she was jammed. Break point, Sayuki. the decider five well, times she served for this match yeah. it's not doing her confidence any good it's not doing uh, mentally she's being hurt and physically she's being hurt she seems to uh, upper thigh and the left leg seems to be worrying her I'm sure it's cramp so hopefully um, whoever wins this match will not have to play tomorrow I'm not sure that either could really recover. Very draining on both players. More of a drain, of course, on Kornikova because of the double faults. And, and also the fact that she led five love. She's had three match points. She served for the match five times. That's got to be a worry. So do you think she'll be more emotionally drained after this than, than physically? Um, oh, definitely. Emotion will be gone. That's well played. That's a. I like that volley. How she got it out in front. How she bent the knees. She kept the wrist strong. So she's got a good heart, as uh, Kornikova. So many people would have folded completely under this pressure. Self-inflicted pressure, though. Yeah, but it's still pressure. That must have just been in. It was so deep. There's certainly still a look of determination in her eyes. Just took, had a quick glimpse of uh, Anna's mum. She was in a green shirt. Yes. She's done it. The match following the same pattern, breaking serves, 8-7, decider. From Park, the sixth time that Anna Kornikova serves for the match. She still finds it impossible to serve a uh, second serve to the Saiki backhand because of the motion. And Saiki knows that, and she's really capitalizing it. Certainly she did that time. Oh, 
Josh Sahuki's hitting her leg. I don't know if she's also getting cramp or if she was saying to her, her feet, move. Well, we, we see an ace. And we see a change of racket because she broke a string as she hit that ball. I mean, that's, you won't see much better than that. Just checking that she's pulling out the correct racket. Because all the rackets uh, balance the same and the weight's the same and the grip size and shape are the same and they go to the same uh, restringer. The restringer can pull up a slightly different, uh, even though they don't mean to. So everything's really the same. Shouldn't have a problem with the new racket. Having hit a great first serve, she hits a pathetic first one there. Mm. A pathetic second one. The contrast so marked, that, that ace, she really let fly. She, she, she looked much looser in her action and then tightened up again. Oh, that's pretty to watch. 13, Not an easy shot. Steps in, plays the forehand return, comes in. She didn't get close to the net, but great hands to play that drop volley. Break point. She's done it. <laughs> what, what a fighter. <laughs> Wow. You've got also one of the other things, I mean, I've alluded to it a little bit, but she, uh, see, she's rubbing that uh, upper thigh. Is Saiki really has the crowd against her? Yeah. In terms of the crowd of four corner cover, some of the happenings are in fact against her, but generally speaking, the crowd is just for corner cover. Smash. A good rally around the corner cover. There's no question, Bob, you're right, she's in physical distress out there. She hit that one like there's no tomorrow, that's for sure. That was never coming back, one way or the other. because I think had that backhand cleared the net cleanly, it was a winner. And by virtue of hitting the net, it sat up and gave uh, Saiki a chance to get to the ball. way out of court there by trying to run around the backhand. This is 
second good smash in this game. Saiki hits her leg and then she's pulling the ankle up to stretch the thigh. So she's also in a little bit of distress. But you can't blame the players for being so. It's been a tough match mentally, physically, and as well as emotionally. Just wide. Right down the line, just drifting wide. is so powerful. She's struggling. Yes, well, I'm not surprised. A match in progress for two hours, 19 minutes. Both players are struggling with their left legs, and their left thighs. and stuff not that bad a second serve it's out uh, wide and Kornikova was almost outside the doubles line when she hit that return a serve break points oh, she was tentative the first one I mean she was so positive wasn't she and uh, that one she was so negative with it Obviously, it's important that she wins the point, but she's got to continue, if she can, to be positive. It's hard work. <laughs> well, she's not giving up. All credit to her. Chasing every ball down. This was a good get. Very good get. And she couldn't quite get the racket head through the ball to get that one back. Another break of serve. Nine eight in this deciding set to the number twelve seed Anna Kornikova. And Bob, she's gonna come out for the seventh time and try and serve for the match. 
Seven is her lucky number. <laughs> 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 or whatever. You've got to say anything to yourself just to to uh, be positive with the thing. But um, I, I'm looking forward to this game, but I'm, I'm concerned about uh, this young lady. She's really struggling with her left eye. And I think if this match goes... Uh, another three or four games, which means that she's going to have to break again. To do that, I'm not sure how much longer she can go. But, uh, what uh, Anna needs to do in this particular game, somehow or other, is just get the first serve in. Whether she just pushes it in or goes for it, and quite frankly, I think she's got a better chance when she goes for it. Saiki so struggling more physically of the two? Yes, I think so. I think uh, Kornikova is struggling mentally and emotionally. Fiona Edwards, the umpire. I bet you she's enjoyed this match as an umpire, an impartial umpire. Yes, I love it. But we've seen it before, haven't we? Big first serve down the centre line and then when serving to the next court, just tries to throw it in. Go for it again, girl. Bad luck. Oh, oh dear. Not a lot we can say, really. Wide. Perhaps she should have gone to the open court. Seemed a strange choice of shot. If, you, if, 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 if I was the Russian Fed Cup captain and she was in my team, I'd never be able to talk to her on a change. I would have to say, sorry, dear, I can't talk to you. Better go to the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> She'd do that to you for sure. That's a bad forehand, but I'm not sure that she can get down to the ball because when she hits a forehand, she has to put the weight onto the left leg somewhat. And I'm not sure she can do that. And that's going to change the whole forehand motion. Well, back to juice. Come on, be brave, girl. Finish it off with two aces. So, match point for the fourth time in total. She had two in the sixth game, another one in the twelfth game. And here she is on the verge of victory. brave that is incredible mind you i'm not sure she can hit a punishing volley on the backhand wing but she certainly has great touch with the drop volley Point. 
That time it was Kornikova that was brave. But she too, obviously, in a lot of physical distress. I wonder if either of them can finish this match <laughs> if it's not finished uh, in this game. That's why I'm saying a little bit earlier that I'm not sure that either of these two players could play tomorrow, whichever one wins. to do with that I don't think she can uh, afford to get involved in a long rally she needs to go for a, a quick winner will she do it again here is another match point match point number Said she's done it. Well, relief, I think, more than anything. What a match. What drama. And what fighting spirit from both ladies. Well, it's a pity that one of them had to lose. But uh, one of them had to, and it was Saiki that lost. It was a dramatic match. It was full of drama full of some brilliant tennis, really some brilliant stroke making from both players and some horrific shots, especially on serve by this young lady in, in the picture now. And I think she's just a little bit overcome. I like the fact that when she was walking up to the net, she pointed a finger at the, at the crowd and to say, thank you. And that's, that's nice. Well, you said that perhaps 